terrifying mobilization by the Russians. Iskander missiles at the border could hit Kiev. The threat to Ukraine has reached unprecedented levels. The latest data from Kiev shows that Russia is waiting to gather 175,000 soldiers at the border to start a total invasion. And almost double that, the number of troops would now be less than 400 kilometers from Ukraine. For a large-scale ground offensive, Moscow would need about 1 million troops. Within an hour of the city of Mariupol, the signs are already visible. There are outposts of the Ukrainian military that are abandoned, most likely the soldiers that went to the front line. Russia is transporting military equipment including tanks and short-range ballistic missiles along the legendary Trans-Siberian Railway to Ukraine. Meanwhile, the United States accused Russia of having no good reason for a large-scale military mobilization. With the Russians on the border, Ukraine thanks the US for releasing $200 million in aid. Ukrainians are afraid of Russia's Iskander missiles. The Ukrainian military has warned that Russia could use medium-range missiles to destroy strategic objects now that additional tactical groups of Iskander operational tactical missiles have been brought to the border. In mid-January, there were 36 Iskander launchers near Ukraine at the medium-range mobile ballistic missile system. These missiles are capable of hitting targets 500 to 700 kilometers away and could target the capital, Kiev. The Russians have formed a new front line in Belarus. The missile systems are to replace the obsolete OTR-21 Tokha systems still in use by the Russian armed forces by 2020. The Iskander has several different conventional warheads, including a cluster munitions warhead, a fuel air explosive enhanced blast warhead, a high explosive fragmentation warhead, and an earth penetrator for bunker busting, and also an electromagnetic pulse device for anti radar missions. The missile can also carry nuclear warheads. The first successful launch occurred in 1996. In 2006, serial production of the Iskander M tactical ballistic missile system was launched and the system was adopted by the Russian army. The Iskander M system is equipped with two solid propellant single stage guided missiles. Each one is controlled throughout the entire flight path and fitted with an inseparable warhead 
The Ukrainian military intelligence service reported that Russia had deployed troops from its central and eastern regions to the western border without interruption. Also, according to the new report, Moscow supports more than 35,000 rebels in eastern Ukraine and has about 3,000 troops on rebel territory. On the other hand, the Kremlin denies that it has forces in eastern Ukraine. The missions of the Russian intelligence services have also intensified. Satellite surveillance equipment has been installed near the border and reconnaissance flights have tripled over the same period last year. Germany will not deliver weapons to Ukraine, but it will send a field hospital. Germany rules out delivering weapons to Ukraine in the current context of crisis with Russia, saying that it will only aggravate the tensions. The United Kingdom decided to deliver to Ukraine an unknown number of anti-tank weapons, Next Generation Light Anti-Tank Weapons, or NLAWS, to help it defend itself from potential invasion during a standoff with Russia, which has massed troops near the Ukrainian border. The first systems were already delivered and a small number of British personnel would provide training for a short period of time. 